So let's take a look at the options menu uh, on the whiteboard space. If we go over here to the lower left-hand corner of the whiteboard, we've got a button down there that doesn't look very exciting. It's like three dots in a line, but that's an exciting menu because that's our options menu. And we have several tabs here at the top, but the one we're going to focus on here is this add tab uh, that has a whole bunch of goodies for us to work with. Now, most of these are self-explanatory, so I'm going to move pretty quickly through this. But the one there labeled image, give that a touch, and sure enough, that allows you to grab an image from someplace the panel can access, and then touch that image and insert it as an object on the whiteboard. So that's, a, that's a, definitely an option there. Text boxes, if you want to work with type text, certainly you can do that. You can choose the color and the size of that font. And then text boxes are also objects you can move around once you have it on the screen, so you can do that too. Sticky notes, same kind of thing here. You grab the color that you want and then just tap the screen with your stylus. It will give you a sticky note that you can then annotate on and you can move it around as an object. Yeah, so that's another option there in that options menu. Go ahead and fire this back up. PDFs, yes, we can actually work with PDFs. That's uh, PDFs and pictures, JPEGs and PNGs specifically, are formats that the whiteboard can support. So that is an option for us where we can work with PDFs. So here, uh, I'm going to go to my menu. If your Google Drive is enabled on the panel, that's certainly a place that you can go to. But again, the idea is any place that the panel can access, which can include thumb drives and, and things like that, because we have USB ports on the panel, so you can actually extract things from thumb drives too if you wish. But I'll go here, go into my drive and grab a PDF. Let's grab that guy right there. That's going to work and it will import it. And actually, every whiteboard, uh, excuse me, every PDF page, rather, that you uh, insert is going to have its own whiteboard page. So if you have a five-page document, it's going to create five individual whiteboard slides or whiteboard pages for those PDF pages, okay? And then we can use annotation tools, obviously, and annotate over these, just like we would on anything else in the whiteboard. Let me go back to the options menu and we got a couple of search functions here. Now, actually, to make this cleaner, I'm going to go ahead and create a new page here with the new page button. I'm going to go back to the options menu. We got two search functions here. One labeled search image and the other one labeled search web. Let's do search image first. And then I have a search box there. Just need to put a cursor there. So I'm going to touch that. Oh, there we go. Now there's my touch keyboard. I can type in a word, puppies. And we'll do a search for puppies. And what it does, actually, is it leverages Google image search to give me puppies, and then we've got all kinds of choices here, but I like him because he's in a bucket, so he's really funny. So I'm going to touch him to activate him once here, and then drag him on the screen, and there you go. I have a puppy in a bucket on the whiteboard. And then the other piece of that, search web, here's what that does. It actually brings up a Google search page uh, into a little window here, and then we can do a Google search. In this case, I'll go with tigers. Oops, got to spell it properly. So tigers. And then it will actually do a regular Google search so I can bring up, say, an article about tigers. Like, you know, what do you know about tigers? Let's go ahead and check that out real quick. And there it is. Okay, cool. So I got a nice article here. And what I can do is grab a clip of this article. I've got a button here that looks like it has a camera. That is a, that is a screenshot button. So when I choose that now... I can move this around, I can expand it and grab a section of this. So I'll just go ahead and choose that. And when I have what I want, hit that little check mark, and that does allow me to, in fact, use this as an object in the whiteboard. So there are a couple of search functions there. So that's a quick look at the Add tab in the Options menu that gives you access to some tools. So stay tuned, we're going to go back to the Options menu in other videos to show you other tools you have access to.